YouTube, it's your boy Al, and I'm back with another lit video for you guys. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing the XL American Bully. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video discussing do you have an American Bully or do you have a Mastiff? Does weight really matter? And the video ended up doing pretty well and people wanted to engage a conversation in it. So in this video, I'm gonna be picking up from that video and showing you some of my favorite examples of how the XL American Bully should be represented. So with that being said, please don't forget to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Check off the bell notification icon to become part of the family. And with that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> So before I even get into discussing my favorite examples of the XL and what I feel really represents the breed standard and the breed type, I'm going to be discussing something that correlates with my previous videos and things that I've discussed on this channel with people not being as educated as they should on the XL American Bully. It's funny, Tristan from Blue Note Bullies, he ended up doing a live and if you don't know him, you're going to get to know him very soon because he has one of the top XL studs on the market and that boy just made his debut in the show ring and he is fantastic his name is legend but before i even get into him he did a live discussing the xl american bully right and after his live his partner molly from blue note bullies received a message from somebody and this is what it said and in this example you can see how uneducated somebody can be when discussing xl american bully the person asks well do you have a bully or an XL? And when you are looking at that, this is precisely why I did this channel. This is precisely why I do everything that I'm doing because I wanna help educate each and every single one of you that are newer to the community and understanding what is an XL American bully and what it should truly be. And like I said, a lot of people get it confused. They think that the bigger dogs, the massive type of dogs, the ones that are like 180 and up are what the XL American bully should be. When in reality, it's completely incorrect and they have zero breed type and they don't even have the traits that the American Bully has. And that is the whole reasoning behind me doing these videos. I wanna help each and every single one of you that's newer to get into the American Bully community so we can elevate the XL and we can put it in the light where it gets respected. And that's the whole reasoning behind me doing what I'm doing. So let's get into the video. So it's funny how things work out and I'm telling you, Kyle works in mysterious ways. I have released that video on YouTube on Wednesday and literally a couple of days later, I wanna say on Saturday or on a Sunday, a picture of an XL started going around the community. This boy was phenomenal. And the reason why he is number one on my representation list is because he fits everything that I've been telling you guys the XL American Bully should be. And when you're looking at this boy with his nice head, his big neck, his breed type, when you're looking at the substance that this boy has, the natural girth, the natural thickness, the way the rear is built, look at the hawks, look at the rear assembly, look at him competing in best of winners, look at those other dogs and look at how good this XL looks when competing in best of winners. And this is precisely what I've been trying to explain to you guys, that the XL doesn't matter how heavy they are, it's about how they look, it's about how the genetics are, it's about how their natural ability will be when they are growing. And when you're seeing these dogs, it's all genetics. It doesn't matter if the dog is like 150 to 180. That has zero weight in discussing how dope an XL can be when it's done the right way. Look at how this boy moves. Look at how this boy is gliding. Look at how this boy is stacking. And when I tell you that this boy fits specifically everything that I've been discussing, it's 100% on the money. And when you look at this boy, he is absolutely phenomenal. Shout out to my man Tristan from Blue Note Bullies for sending out the pictures and the videos to me for being able to show you all how dope he is as an XL. And the biggest thing as to why he's number one is you see how he looks in best of winners, right? You see how he looks against pockets, standards, and classics, right? You see how awesome he looks against them, right? And guess how much he weighs? 112.6 pounds. I told you guys, weight does not matter when discussing the XL American Bully. And there you go, that is a prime example. Look at how built and naturally thick this boy is at 112.6. 
You get what I'm saying? He's at 112.6, and look at how dope he looks in best of winners competing against those other dogs. Once again, shout out to my man Tristan. Reach out to him on Facebook, reach out to him on Instagram. This boy is incredible. Congratulations on the stud, my man. You're gonna do big things with him, and you know, it's very well deserved on your end, and you deserve all of the credit and all of the respect that you know your kennel deserves. And I truly appreciate you for letting me use your boy and allowing me to talk about him on this video. So that wraps up example number one. Let's get into example number two. So up next, my second favorite example of the XL American Bully that represents the breed type and the standard is XL Grand Champion Choppa. And when you're looking at this boy, look at the fronts this boy has. Look at the confirmation this boy has. Look at that top line. And most importantly, out of all of the traits that he has, he has the one that is lacking the most in the XL, which is the well-built rear. Look at how thick this boy is in the rear. Look at those leg muscles. Look at how he is gating. Look at how great this boy looks while he's in motion. And look at how the confirmation shows in movement. Look at that top line. Look at the fronts. Look at the headpiece on him. And when you are looking at Grand Champion Choppa, you see the way he is moving in the ring. And you see all of his traits exuding on that compact frame. And you see how dope he looks, right? Why does that correlate with what I was discussing in my previous video? Because Grand Champion Choppa, I wanna say is 118 pounds to the 120 range. That's all he is. And look at how awesome he looks. You get what I'm saying? We continue to float around weight, like if weight determines how dope the dog is. But now you have two examples. With Legend, with Grand Champion Choppa, Legend being 112.6, Choppa being in the 118 to 120 range. And look at how they look. And shout out to the owners of Grand Champion Choppa, Anthony Caesar and his son. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak about your boy and bringing him into the limelight and to really show how awesome he is and how dope the XL can be. Follow them on all platforms. Follow them on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. The links to their profiles will be in the description. So that wraps up my second example. Let's get into the third. So up next, and this may come as a surprise to each and every single one of you that are watching this video because this dog is not known throughout the community and given the level of respect that she should have. Keyword, she. And she is by far the number one best XL female that I have ever seen in person that I have laid eyes on. And her name is Matilda the Gorilla. She is owned by Dan Rooney. Follow him on Facebook. His kennel's name is Rooney's Bulls. Follow him on Instagram. I'm actually gonna put all of the links in the description, just like the previous two kennels and owners that I discussed before. Now, most importantly, when you're seeing this girl, this is an XL female. Look at how wide the spread is. Look at how deep that chest drop is. Look at how wide she is. Look at the substance and bone that this girl has. She is a true one of one when discussing the XL American Bully in regards to the females. Look at how awesome she is. Look at the confirmation. Look at the top line. Look at the rear assembly. And most importantly, look at how beefy this girl is and look at how much substance and thickness this girl has. And when you are looking at this girl, she's what a lot of people would consider an XL pocket. The reality is, is that people think that getting bullier traits on a bigger frame is not sustainable. When in reality, this girl is a living example of it. I've been able to see this girl grow up. I've seen her from the start of her journey at like five months old when I first picked up Ghost. And to see how this girl looks now is absolutely incredible. And when you are looking at this girl, not only does she have those extreme traits, she has amazing drive and this girl can get her ass off. So when you're looking at this amount of substance and you're looking at how awesome this girl is, you need to factor in that this girl is an XL. So when you're trying to say that, well, the XL could not have the bullier traits on the bigger frame, it's completely incorrect, because now you have three examples. And guess what? Look at how awesome this girl is, right? Look at how thick this girl is, right? Guess how much she weighs? She is no more than 100 pounds. This girl is a prime example of how awesome an XL can be. And being 
a prime example of, yes, it could be done. And for those wondering why I decided to put Matilda at the number three spot when she's not as decorated as Legend who champed out at one show, who in my opinion is gonna be the next XL Grand Champion or Grand Champion Choppa, this girl went into heat before she could get her champion title. She actually showed against Ghost in Allentown last year and she racked up 130 points. She's actually 20 points away from becoming an XL female champion. There's no doubt in my mind, if she was able to get back into the ring, that she would do immense damage. So that's why I put her at the number three spot. Shout out to my man's Dan once again. Continue to do great work, my man's. And I cannot wait to see what this girl puts out because she is absolutely incredible. So that wraps up my third example. Let's get into my last example. So for my last example, and I wanted to hold him off because I wanted to do right by him and I wanted to give him the proper introduction that he deserves. And we're talking about one of the baddest XLs to ever exist, Grand Champion Saki Bomb. And this boy was fantastic. Look at how much mass this boy has. Look at the dome, look at the neck, look at the movement, look at the muscle and the tight skin that this boy has. Look at the confirmation that he has. Look at that muscle. When you're looking at this dog, you can see how awesome he was. And why am I discussing Saki Bomb as my last one? And we are in the year 2022, right? Why am I bringing him up now? First off, he's extremely decorated with his accomplishments, right? But most importantly, and this goes back to what I've been discussing throughout most of my videos, right? Especially when discussing the XL, this boy could win now in the year 2022. He was born in 2009. Because back in that realm, in that age, this type of XL existed. The bullier traits on a taller frame existed. They existed years ago. And we lost our way. But this is a prime example as to people who say you can't get bullier traits on a taller frame. Well, listen, look at the examples. And Saki Bomb is the prime example of it because look at how awesome he looks on his height. He is a fantastic example. Now, I don't know how much he weighed off the top of my head, but I could tell you for sure, he did not weigh no more than 125 because that's how awesome this boy is and how compact he is. I could be mistaken, but I firmly believe he did not weigh no more than that. And when you look at this boy and you see how awesome, and how well put together he is, he is one of the pioneers for the XL American Bully community. And he actually has a son that is fantastic, XL Grand Champion Dooley, and I didn't want to discuss Dooley in this video because I had used him as an example in a cleaner correct video and I want to show love to the XL American bullies and multiple examples of them you know what I mean now when discussing Saki Bomb and seeing how awesome he was when we start projecting into the future and when did everything turn and what played into it that's a discussion for another video but I say all of that to say it can be done and look at the examples I just used the problem is nobody wants to breed for it because people were chasing color and people were chasing weight and the XL American Bully lost its way. And the whole objective of me doing this and doing this video is to put people on the mat, to give them the respect and the proper respect, most importantly, that they deserve because they are doing great things for the XL. And I wanna be able to show you all how awesome the XL can be and what's coming in the future because I really do feel like we're at a point where the XL has enough people within the community to wanna to work together to be able to bring out the best in the XL American Bully. So, let's wrap up the video. Okay, everybody, so that wraps up the video. I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and sub to the channel. Check off the bell notification icon to become part of the family. And in this video, I want to show you some of the best examples of what the XL American Bully should be. And you know, I'm big into talking about my dogs and I really do think Ghost is a great example of what the XL should be. But it's not about my dogs. It's about bringing out the best XLs and the light and showing them love and working together to create something special. You get what I'm saying? And for me, I'm not gonna talk about my boy because you know what? It's not about him, it's not about me. It's about the XL American Bully in its totality. You get what I'm saying? And we wanna be able to bring out the best in the XL American Bully. And that's why I wanted to show love to these kennels, owners, and their dogs because they deserve it and they are great examples of what the American Bully should be. So with that being said, that wraps up the video and we'll catch you on the next one. We'll open at it. <laughs> Beauty.